Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I have a new layout and video to share for Hip Kit Club and I'm using the 2019 June kits. And this layout is going to be super bright and I couldn't decide which papers to use and so I just decided to use almost all of them. And my assignment today was to use cut files. Now, I went back several months to the February cut files because I was in the mood to create layered up hearts. And so these are just simple hearts. I created, uh, you know, a largest, the largest one, and then one a little bit smaller, one a little bit smaller. So there's four different sizes here, and I just went through all the papers and picked all the colors that I liked. Uh, a lot of these are from Heidi Swap Color Fresh and Vicky Booten Color Kaleidoscope, and I just love the mix of the patterns and the colors. Everything's so bright. I did incorporate a little bit of black and white in there as well. And then I thought for the fifth and smallest heart, I would just fussy cut out one of these from this Vicky Booten paper. I love all those rainbow hearts. They're so pretty, and I love that they're distressed. Some of them have text on them. It's just one of those papers that you can get a lot of mileage out of with all those hearts. So I also wanted to do a couple more heart or layered up hearts here, but I wanted to use a lot of the pocket life cards. And so I just traced each heart onto whichever pocket life card I was going to use. And then I just fussy cut that out. You know, hearts are very easy to cut. And um, so, yeah, there were actually a lot of really bright and awesome colored pocket life cards and so I'm going to use that yellow one this one is green I'm going to use that ombre red with the white dots and the orange so I thought that that would match up perfectly and I'm just going to get all these ready to go and I've got four different hearts here and so I wanted to make them a little more textured and dimensional so I'm going to scruff up the edges here with my little edge distressor and kind of bend them up a little bit so they stand up off the page a little bit once they're attached. And I apologize for my voice. I'm a little bit stuffy this weekend, so hopefully that's not too annoying. Um, but yeah, so okay, I, sl I uh, very lightly glued the middle of each heart down, and then I ran it through my sewing machine right down the middle using black thread. And I love how that looks. You can really bend up the edges of the hearts and make them just jump off the page. So I'm going to be very different here, and I'm going to use colored cardstock as my background. This orange tangerine color uh, is so pretty and I thought it would be so different and so fun and so bright and I'm going to go for it and just use this as my background. This is in the cardstock kit this month and I've totally forgotten the name of this cardstock but you should if you got the cardstock kit it should be in there and I'm going to of course add mixed media to it because you know me I have to do mixed media it's just my favorite thing to do. So before I do anything, I'm going to come in with some white gesso, scrape a lot of it down, mostly in the middle and out toward the edges, but um, mostly just where the hearts and the photo are going to go. And I like to scrape it with my palette knife and then immediately use my fingers to continue smudging it down so I don't have harsh white edges. I like to make it kind of hazy and smoky. Uh, and cloudy, if that makes sense. And this is going to look totally different once I add other things on it. So I know it just looks like a big white cloud, but this is kind of the design I'm going to do with the flower, not the flowers, the hearts and the photo. Now I'm going to the color kit. This is the Echo Park stencil that's in our color kit this month. And I'm using a palette knife and some white modeling paste. And I just want to create some texture on the background here. Um, this is a really fun thing to do with stencils. Uh, if you've never tried it, highly recommend it. If you like texture on your pages, this is a great way to get it. The paste is really thick and it just smooths on really creamy. And when it dries, it's, you know, bumpy and textured and it stands up off the page a little bit. And so uh, the stencil is just these uh, flowers. It's really, really cute. And so I'm just kind of going around where the hearts are gonna go, where the photo is gonna go, and kind of just adding some bumpy texture to the background. And uh, if you mess up a little bit, just scrape it off or rub it in with your finger. It's all good. So I let that dry and you can kind of see the difference there. And it still looks all white, I know, but it's gonna change when I add color to it. Um, I'm gonna use this pink Lindy's Magical Powder. It's in the color kit also this month. It's bright pink and it's called Hottie Patati Hot Pink. 
and I'm going to do a little bit of mixing and matching. I'm going to mix in a couple of colors from previous kits. I've got an orangey peachy color there, I think from last month or the month before. It's called Fuzzy Navel Peach, and then a softer pink called Pink Ladies Pink. <clears throat> and I'm just going to start to dip my brush into the powders. Well, I did activate the powders. I forgot to tell you that part. If you've never used these, um, just all you need to do is get a little bit of the powder, add a little bit of water, and then mix it up. And it's really cool because a lot of these powders have more than one color in them. And so when you go to activate it, you can see the different colors kind of swirling around. And I thought these pinks and the orange color would be perfect since my background is orange and there's a lot of pink in the hearts. And so I'm just using a brush to kind of dip it in the color, smudge it around on the background, and add some color. And uh, I think pink and orange look really pretty together and they blend really well together. And so this is how I'm gonna start. I'm gonna spritz a little bit of water just to continue to make it kind of blend and spread around. This spray that I'm using here is also a Lindy's Starburst Spray. We got that a few months ago as well. It's called Cotton Candy Pink. And it's fun to mix and match all these different products because you can get so many different colors and uh, yeah, it's just, I love to do that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I did pull out some shimmers. Now these are shimmers from way older kits. Uh, this is a deep pink color called Pink Stilettos. And I don't even remember what month that came in, but um, I always get the color kits and they just continue to last. And you never know when a previous month's color is gonna match the current kit and so I keep them all within reach. Um, I also use Spritz Ruby which is more of a reddish pink and um, I'm just spraying it down letting it blend and um, dabbing up a little bit. This color here I'm almost out is a Vibes. We got this maybe back in August I think. Don't quote me on that but it's called Mustard Seed and it is a beautiful golden mustardy yellow and I love how it looks up against this orange background. <clears throat> so I'm just going to continue to blend and bring the hearts back and see how it looks and keep working on it. And I, I did choose a black and white photo because there's so much color going on here and I felt like the black and white photo really popped against all these colors. And I did try out a color photo before I started filming. Um, and I almost used a color photo, but I felt like the black and white one just worked a little bit better. So that's the one I went with. So I'm going back and forth with the splatters. I'm adding some more of the orange Lindy's Magical Fuzzy Navel Peach, splattering that around. And I think this looks totally different <laughs> than when I first smudged the gesso down. Um, the gesso, I get a lot of questions about why do you use the gesso? Um, and the gesso is just a primer. It's going to protect your background paper and it's going to create a layer between the paper and all the liquid or the paint or the spray. And it's going to allow it to not just soak right through onto the background. And it allows it to spread and blend and uh, mix around before it dries. And uh, yeah, I love using gesso. It makes a huge difference. And I used white on this particular layout because my background is colored and I wanted to kind of blend out some of that orange color. If I would have used clear, it would have dried clear and it wouldn't have made the white area, if that makes sense. And you don't have to use white gesso. You could definitely do this with clear gesso. It just depends on the look you're going for. So I added some tissue paper and some adhesive foam behind the photo, and then I'm gonna start the uh, very challenging, <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. Oh, I hate being stuffy. Um, the very challenging task of embellishing because these kits are loaded with the cutest embellishments and they make it so hard to pick and choose what to use. I mean, off camera, I spent way too long. I think I worked on this for three days because I could not decide which embellishments to use. It's crazy. Um, we get a lot of the Vicky Booten color kaleidoscope. We get stickers, we get chipboard stickers, and then we get this amazing wonderful, huge sticker book from Heidi Swap. 
and that's where my title is going to come from. You see that awesome piece. A lot of the stickers in that sticker book are almost um, transparent vellum, and so you can kind of see through them when you stick them down, and so I stuck that awesome down to some vellum and then fussy cut it out so it would stand out a little bit more because I do want to layer it on top of my photo there. And then, yeah, this a lot of this is just me trying to figure out what to put where. Um, I, the hearts are so busy and so bright that I didn't feel like I needed to do a lot of embellishing, but I did want to add some more stuff. And so um, I'm going to add some little bits of adhesive foam behind these circle chipboard stickers from the Vicki Booten chipboard sticker sheet. Um, there were three of these little circles with almost rainbow starburst patterns on them. And I'm going to use those in the middle of three of the heart clusters. And then I'm going to use that little chipboard camera on the one that's right there by the photo. I am going to use some of the Vicki Booten flowers. She has a lot of tropical, bright, beautiful flowers in her ephemera pack that we get. And I'm going to use a couple of those on the right side of the photo. And I toyed with the idea of putting the title below the picture but I wanted to let some of that pink background show through and I really liked how it looked on top of the photo and I layered that little hot pink sticker underneath awesome that says sweetness and I like how that jumps off of that lighter pink color. So I wanted to use a couple of these little phrase chipboard stickers but I just couldn't at first decide where to put them and how many to use. Um, so I just try a couple here on the outside of the hearts uh, layer them in. Some of them get moved. But like I said, a lot of this is trial and error. You just have to audition certain pieces in certain places and see how it looks. And sometimes you like it the first time you put it there, and sometimes you don't. And sometimes it goes back and forth, and then you finally decide to use it or not. I know you've all been there. I know you've all been there. So I decided to add another leaf over here to this little flower cluster, and so I chopped one off of a really big vine cut, or not cut file, <laughs> die cut, and then I'm going to come back in with the Vicky Booten stickers. I wanted to add a little something underneath awesome, so I stuck in a little arrow, and then I'm going to add another chipboard piece, a little label that says captured up above the photo. And then I want to use this little piece here that says stay cool and it had some sunglasses attached to it so I'm gonna kind of cut it up and use those two parts in different places I'm gonna use stay cool up at the top left and I love how that yellow pops against the mixed-media background there and then I'm gonna use the sunglasses down at the bottom this piece is lime green um, I, I do wind up sticking that to another piece of vellum like I did the title and I'm going to cut that out so it stands out. I think it says awesome day. Oh, it doesn't say awesome day. It says something day. I can't remember. But um, it's hard to see it the way it is now. So that's why I layer something white underneath it. Um, I go crazy here with the little hearts from this Heidi Swap sticker sheet. And layer those around in various places. And this is getting very bright and colorful and I love it. I just love all the bright colors. Um, I was really glad that I went with that orange background um, and I almost forgot to add my favorite thing which is thread. I uh, yeah I knew all along I was gonna add thread because I always do but I had glued everything down and thought oh this doesn't have thread and it would be okay without it but you know me I love to add thread. I just think it adds little pops of texture and color and whimsy to the background like I added some black behind that big heart on the left and I just love how that looks um, I'm adding some hot pink over to the right which I will move and then move back um, some aqua over here to this heart and it's nothing major that makes it uh, you know that stands out that much and so you know if you're not a thread person that is perfectly good I did change the pink though I, I changed the pink to black now now my my quandary was there's nowhere to write my journaling because the background is so bumpy and textured so I typed it and printed it on white paper and cut it out and so I'm gonna do strips on this one so anyway I did add the date stamp there's the final layout I really love how this turned out I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, the bright colors just make me so happy
I love the bright colors. Um, you can see all the texture here, the ruffled up edges of the hearts, all of the modeling paste on the background. Oh, I love it. Um, so this is a great idea to do if you just want to use all the papers. Just uh, layer up some hearts or some stars or some circles or whatever. And uh, yeah, it's just a great, fun, easy way to get all the patterns and colors you want. So let me know if you have any questions about any of the kits this month or any of the techniques or anything at all, and I will get back with you. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great week, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.